Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about participatory approaches in the design of nature-based solutions. Um, so why is this uh, an important topic to cover? So in response to climate hazards, great infrastructure um, often preferred by local government over nature-based solutions. And this approach tend to be less participatory in nature and exclude the most vulnerable groups in city. So in our work, we look at how local needs and everyday life practices can be streamlined into climate adaptation strategies. Um, so we propose a framework on how nature-based solutions can be designed from no participation at all to a process that is more co-designed and transformative for climate adaptation. We, what we really believe is that this use of participatory approaches can help us overcome uh, approaches that would just replicate existing solutions from other places and instead propose nature-based solutions that can be connected and fully integrated with the local needs of communities and the site specificities. One example of how this can be achieved is the use of citizen science. In this project specifically, we partnered with communities for a period of two years to collect photos of floods. We collected more than 5,000 photos that allowed us to understand not only the water levels that are experienced in each site, but also understand how these water levels affect communities and how people respond to them in their daily lives. We believe that citizen science and other participatory methods in general are key to advance the idea that disasters are social and political, and therefore having people on the table being part of the discussion is essential to understand that disasters are not natural and that people need to be part of the discussion. Thank you for your attention. Please reach out to us if you'd like to continue the discussion.